what appeared to people only as small bright dots in the firmament a few centuries ago, we can now look at in detail thanks to our advanced technology the surfaces of other celestial bodies. It's above all those planets that appear extremely similar to the Earth at first glance that continue to fascinate us. These celestial bodies, which have a solid surface, are indeed called Earth-like planets. Besides Mars and Mercury, Venus is also classified in this galactic squad. Together with you, we want to take a closer look at our cosmic neighbor, Venus, today. We'd like to present you not only its typical characteristics, but also some of the most fascinating images taken in the context of the past research mission. Want to learn more about the most exciting celestial bodies in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space to stay up to date in the future. If you enjoy the content of our videos, we'd love for you to give them a thumbs up. Venus, the Earth's toxic sister planet. Venus is often referred to in many reports as the sister planet to our terrestrial home. This is not only because both celestial bodies have solid surface structures, but also because of the similar sizes of the planets. While the Earth's diameter is about 7,900 miles, the corresponding value for Venus is about 7,500 miles. At this point, however, we're at the end of the galactic similarities. As is well known, it takes 365 days before our blue home planet has completely orbited the Sun. Venus, in turn, needs about 225 days to orbit its central host star. Especially curious? This makes a Venus year shorter than a Venus day. In fact, the celestial body named after the Roman goddess of love needs more than 243 days to rotate once around its own axis. Since Venus approaches Earth during its galactic journey up to 23 million miles, it's also the brightest planet in the sky for the terrestrial observer. This is also favored by the fact that the second innermost representative of our planetary system has an amazing albedo. This amounts to 0.76, which means that Venus reflects 76% of the incident sunbeams. Since the celestial body is enclosed by a dense layer of clouds, there was a great deal of uncertainty for a long time about what the surface of the planet looks like. Accordingly, some people in the past imagined that a tropical climate with countless virgin forests and the most diverse creatures might exist there. Thanks to the information gathered during unmanned space missions, we now know that the planet has anything but life-friendly conditions, however. On the one hand, this refers to the scorching hot average temperatures on Venus which amount to 860 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, the planet has an extremely toxic carbon dioxide atmosphere. The permanent cloud cover of the celestial body, which is about 12 miles thick, consists to a large extent of sulfuric acid. The impenetrable cloud formations also mean that the light conditions on the planet's surface differ significantly from those on Earth. Even when the sun is at its zenith above Venus, there is only a sparse twilight. Because of the extreme conditions that characterize our galactic neighbor, it's practically impossible with our current technical capabilities that we will ever send a human to Venus. Thus, scientists must continue to rely on those images and capture data provided by unmanned spacecraft to explore the planet. The images and insights that have already been created and gained have helped experts to explore in detail the natural makeup of the third smallest planet in the solar system. Now let's take a look together at the most fascinating images of Venus. Cloud Cover on Venus We have NASA's Mariner 10 spacecraft to thank for this stunning image of Venus in its natural color scheme. The unmanned spacecraft reached the planet's vicinity in the spring of 1974, whereupon it took a total of 4,165 images of the celestial body. The bright formations, which we see on this general view, are the already mentioned poisonous cloud covers. The corresponding structures are located about 36 miles above the planet's surface and appear predominantly in a bright, white shimmering hue. In a revised version of the original image, however, we can clearly see that the white structures are repeatedly interrupted by red-colored clouds. Scientists explain this circumstance by the existence of a so far unidentified material in the Venusian atmosphere. 
this mysterious chemical component is capable of absorbing light in blue and ultraviolet wavelengths. While some researchers believe it is likely to be sulfur compounds, other experts suspect that biological materials are the trigger of the color differences. Incidentally, the cloud structures are not rigid formations. In fact, the formations whip around the planet at a speed of more than 320 feet per second. At the same time, Venus itself rotates around its own axis at a very leisurely speed of less than 7 feet per second. How these hurricane-like cloud storms come about is currently also still an unsolved mystery for scientists. Mead Crater Now that we've dealt with the perplexing cloud cover, it's time to take a closer look at the planet's surface. One of the most defining landscape features is the imposing Mead Crater. Named after the American ethnologist Margaret Mead, the impact crater is located in the lowlands and has a remarkable diameter of 168 miles. The inner ring of the structure results directly from the impact of an asteroid. However, the bright coloration of the ground surface inside may have a different origin. It's conceivable that lava has solidified there. On the other hand, it could also be the material that was thrown up during the collision and then fell back into the crater. Particularly astonishing is the fact that Mead is not adorned by a central elevation, as is usually the case with craters of this size. The slope of the impact site is about a half mile from the rim to the center, making it appear remarkably flat. Volcanoes According to current information, there are about as many volcanoes on Venus as on Earth. The surface of the planet is crisscrossed by many fields and several shield volcanoes and other volcanic elevations. Venus has more than 50,000 smaller volcanoes and at least 167, whose base diameter is more than 60 miles. The largest lava-spewing structure on Venus is Mat Muns. This fire mountain towers about five miles above its surroundings. It's assumed that Mat Muns is still relatively active. However, the surface of Venus is not only adorned by common volcanic objects, but also by a shape that visually reminds one of a tick. Comparable formations can also be found on our blue home planet. Here, we find such volcanoes on the seafloor. How the Venus volcanoes change the face of the celestial body becomes clear when we take a look at a radar image mosaic of the planet's surface created in 1996. Here, the gigantic lava flows meet a natural ridge belt which they break through effortlessly. On the right side of the image, we see how the lava masses subsequently accumulate into a gigantic deposit that covers a total area of about 62,000 square miles. Coronae In the world of planetology, the term corona refers to a round or oval structure on the surface that visually resembles an impact crater, but in reality, does not result from a collision with a galactic missile. The Corone located on Venus in the early 1980s were the first objects of their kind to be identified. Typically, these surface structures have an elliptical rim adorned by one or more rings. The interior of the Corone is characterized by complex bottom structures. How exactly such formations develop could not be clarified so far with exact certainty. However, Researchers assume that the Venus Corone were formed when hot rock materials arched up the overlying soil layers. So far, more than 350 such formations have been discovered on the surface of Venus. Dickinson Crater This image of Dickinson Crater is from 1996. The collision site is located in the so-called Atalanta region of Venus. Dickinson has a considerable diameter of almost 44 miles. Here too, we can see a visible ring wall that has formed around the crater. However, there is an area in the west of the crater where the characteristic accumulation of ejecta is missing. Scientists explain this circumstance with the theory that the missile that hit Venus probably approached obliquely from the west. Isabella Crater with a diameter of nearly 109 miles, Isabella Crater advances to become the second largest impact basin on the surface of Venus. It owes its name to the Spanish queen, Isabella I of Castile, who lived in the 15th century. Within the collision site, we see two separate, distinct structures. To be precise, on the one hand, 
there is an area containing a circular shield volcano about 24 miles long. On the other hand, there's an area characterized by complex patterns and channels. Presumably, these are the residues of molten rock that liquefied due to the immense heat of the impact explosion. Another theory is that these are actually clouds of hot gas and rock residue deposited in the crater. What do you think about these stunning images of Venus? Write us your opinion about today's video in the comments. And if you're interested in more exciting videos about outer space, then click on one of the thumbnails in the credits to get to another one now. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.